We'll officially call the meeting in order at 6 o'clock. We know that uh, Josiah is sick and Carl won't be here, so everyone that's attending is here. Please stand for Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We've got review and approval of the agenda. Any questions? I make a motion to approve the agenda. I'll second it. Motion second. All in favor, aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody want to make public comments today? Nobody? We'll move on then. Consent agenda. Any questions regarding the consent agenda? If not, can we get a motion? I make a motion to approve the consent agenda. And a second. All second. Motion second. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. New business. Uh, budget amendments. We'll have to officially open this as a hearing. Mm -hmm. So that hearing is now officially open. Donna, you are chief or president. Do you want to make any comments regarding our amendments? If not, we'll close the public portion of the uh, hearing. Council, it's your turn to discuss the budget amendments. What are we saying as far as trends go, as far as natural gas prices? Are they going to... They're, they're high and they're going to stay high. <laughs> if hey, you I'm, 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 I'm not... Yeah, uh, we're caught, neither Corey nor myself are optimistic they're going to go down. Uh, you hear some people talk about them going down eventually. I, I don't see it. Uh, what are we at? Around six dollars, five dollars. Yeah, it, it was it was like five fifty five today. Is there anything we can do yeah. to further insulate ourselves from? Nope. I I heard forecasters about three months ago start telling people, uh, brace yourselves for January and start saving for it now. So they knew it was going to stay high. We're fortunate. We do. I mean, Scott did blend our gas back in, yeah. so our storage is full. And I mean. It's not cheap. It's no, it's not cheap as what it used to be, but it is, it will be cheaper if we have see a spike in it. So we'll blend it and we'll get by. This blanket. This is an amendment to cover the increase due to inflation and higher than usual cost. No further comments. Definitely concerns, but it's kind of out of our hands we don't control the market on yeah. these products and we have to have them to survive so nothing further can we get a motion to amend the budget i make a motion to amend the we have a second I'll second motion and second all in favor aye aye, aye. anyone opposed Neighborhood revitalization plan. I'm sorry. Oops. Sorry. Um, you have three copies of the yes. bu budget amendment. Everyone will need to sign those that are present. I will start two of them this way and one this way. Thank you, Roxanne. All right. Neighborhood revitalization plan. Well, ma'am, I'm reviewing the write up on it, and I think the write up pretty much covers uh, what's going on, and I was uh, advising you all on. Uh, what the, the county was doing, uh, the Allen County Community College, sorry, Allen Community College, and uh, the Board of Trustees of, of USD 257 agreed to our uh, 10 for 100% rebate plan. Uh, the, the county is amenable to agreeing to the former plan, the tiered rate starting year seven, it goes down 80, 60, 40, 20 to year 10. Uh, does not sound like they are going to participate at the 10 for 100% rebate. Um, it, it is allowed to uh, have one taxing entity participate at a different level than what three other entities have approved. Uh, so it's brought back to you all for uh, discussion and approval of a revised plan and the the proper language is is in the packet with you all 
as we consider this council, I'd like to point out, as I did in a previous meeting, I stated publicly, uh, conversations come up about uh, what does this cost us to um, offer this program to potential developers or individuals rehabbing a, a home. Um, I'd like to look at it and have everyone consider that I kind of look at it like having a CD in the bank. If you have a house that's worth 50000 now and they're going to invest 15000 20000 in the build and you give them this abatement program to offset the build, you, you don't have anything now, give it to them. It's like having a CD that matures in, in 10 years and it comes back to you. Uh, it increases property value. Uh, if you build new, it's, it's a good incentive to build new. And the question has come up, has anybody utilized it to the point that it's recognizable that you have new homes because of the abatement program. I do know it's been approximately 10 years ago now, if not a little longer, I believe there was three or four homes that were specifically built because of the uh, neighborhood revitalization plan along with um, the question was asked if it if it transferred if they sold that property within the 10 years does it go with the property and it does space yeah so space with the property yeah, yeah. so um, I see it as a, as a good tool to get developers here as an incentive to build and I, I sure would like it to be a lot cleaner and would encourage the county to take another look at this because we now share uh, the airport potential industrial build and it would sure clean things up to have one plan that the entire county city uh, participates in. And the thing I mentioned at a previous meeting and I've heard the question come up, is it really going to be an enticing program that will get a new developer here. And in fact, we've had one that was building outside of our county that has announced he wants to come back home. He wants to develop in Allen County, Iola, and he's moving forward. And a lot of it had to do with our supporting the uh, new neighborhood revitalization plan. So comments, concerns, this is your time to speak up. I, like I would add to what you've said in the sense that not only is it an opportunity for us to incentivize new development in Iola, but for anybody that would take advantage of the neighborhood revitalization. The city doesn't have a whole lot of ways in which we can assist and facilitate the growth of wealth. And one of the best ways, one of the best investments that you can make is in a home. And developing that home and improving that home is a great way to build generational wealth. and. And the neighborhood revitalization is a great tool to do that so that you don't have, in addition to the cost of the improvements, a drastically increased uh, cost in taxes. My only comment would be that I understand. Oh, my only comment would be that I understand the financial aspect of it, and it is not a burden, but some may can see that as a burden with the reimbursement or the lack thereof. But I feel that the financial loss is much greater by losing those people to other cities and counties that do offer that. Anyone else? I just want to clarify, if we, if we approve this plan as presented, so what will happen is, is that once they reach a certain point in the program, county taxes will yes. start to go up, whereas our city taxes will remain waived right okay it's a logistics thing for the county implementing it but it's on page nine the breakdown guys. yeah i saw that that's just, the only change in the plan that's going to be a a fun thing for someone that's not us to keep right. track of and that, that has been stated at county meetings multiple times and just so you know greg is at the school board just revising or giving them an update tonight about it and uh him or i one will go to the college tomorrow night to their board meeting and then he's going to the county tomorrow yeah and the, we so. anticipate some kind of action from the county tomorrow but i can't guarantee it on the tiered plan yes yeah did they say why they're not interested in the uh i don't remember any specific reasons no 
uh, in terms of watching replays uh, or live discussion of it or a replay of it or reading it in the paper. I never got a specific reason. I know Bruce one made the comment about well if they could see or hear of other counties that have this and see some return yeah, uh, yeah I, and great yeah great Greg represented us and, and he got asked some questions can, can you predict that we're gonna have increased housing on this and that's not a question that you can answer um, but Steve you had made the point that we've had some people kicking the tires and the NRP has absolutely been the selling point uh, that's one of the reasons I came up with the, the 10 for 100 was if, if they're if it's a good incentive at a tiered rate uh, why not just make it a fly rate and I do know that IO Industries is real big supportive of, of this program yeah. and um, you know they're participating in potential build as well yeah, and I again Corey I can't think of anything any specific reason I don't want to put oh. words in in their mouths but no I, I uh, Honestly, it's just a frustration level from my standpoint because I thought it was pretty simple. The other taxing entities approved it like that. I mean, it was quick. Uh, no questions. Well, when you look at the years that it fades back in, it's not that much longer that you're you're offering the 100%. Yeah. Actually, it, it two, worked, yeah, two, it works out to, yeah, the, the tiered plan is the equivalent of, of eight years at 100%. But what we're doing with the, the new plan, the 10 for 100, we're just giving back that, that other two. Yeah. Yes. Any further questions? Do we have someone willing to make a motion? I, I want to say something. Okay, sure. I know that a bunch of people in town don't read the paper and they don't understand this. So I had one guy I was telling, why did you stop working on your building? Because you know me, I don't care what people think of me and he said my taxes went up and I said so I said it makes it look better and you're just off the square so I would think you want to look I oh good and he said well I didn't know anything about it so I went immediately to the courthouse and then I went to her husband and I said you know we need to have something in the paper about if you don't understand it which they don't that's because I've talked to several people and they said well my taxes will just go up and I said but that's not for a while and I said then you make the whole thing better and it's worth more money so if there's some way and I know we all know that but if they could go to Greg which they can because Greg said just any time bring them over I couldn't get them to go over but anyway if they understood this better, and I think that's one of our problems with our people. Thank you, Donna. Yeah, building permit, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It, is, it says right there on the permit, yeah, in our yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, and that is if, if people are conscious of the fact that they have to have a building permit for certain things, then they're going to be educated about the program. That's sort of a requirement of Greg's to make that known that it exists, the program. Anyone else? Do we have a motion? I'll make a motion that we approve the revised neighborhood revitalization plans as presented. Second. We have a motion and second. All in favor, aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. All right, moving on. We're needing a uh, executive session like the uh, motions laying underneath your new pa uh, front covers guys if whoever's gonna yeah. make that motion um, I'd like to request that we start with uh, 15 minutes I move the city council recess into executive session for 15 minutes pursuant The purpose of the executive session is to prepare for the future or current contractual discussion and shall include the mayor, council, city administrators, assistant city administrator, and the regular meeting shall convene city council chamber at 6.30. What's that? 6.30. 6.30. I'll second that. All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries.
All right, nothing uh, to talk about after executive session, so we'll move on to council and administrator reports. Mr. Nick. Um, thank you, Donna, for the cinnamon rolls. That was fantastic. Um, Merry, <laughs> Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, to those who uh, celebrate Hanukkah or, or other faiths, uh, happy. into the uh, colder months of winter. Make sure that you're winterizing, closing pipes and things like that. And <laughs> Mark? Merry Christmas to everybody. Uh, the lights on the square look really nice. I see now the county's talking about upgrading there, so we might have started something there. One First of the best ideas. Yeah. One quick question I've noticed in the news that the food sales tax is going to start decreasing. It's six and a half percent now, drops down to four percent in January one, down to two percent on in twenty twenty four and zero in twenty twenty five. How's that going to affect us? Uh good question. Um I don't know off the top of my head. My 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 guess is there's gonna be a push this year to just eliminate it altogether. So that six point five might become zero here pretty soon. Uh, what we bring in about a million a year ta uh, sales tax, mm -hmm. but that that's, that's just part the, of the six and a half. Right. That's just the half cent sales tax. Mm -hmm. Okay, so nothing that all goes to the state. That's all state side. Okay, so zero. We'll yeah. tax county and city tax yeah. on food. Understand. We probably don't get much from the state level as far as food tax goes. If that anything, would affect anything that was coming back to us or anything. Okay, that's all I got. Cool. Um, I just want to. Kim. Mm -hmm. Yes. Merry Christmas and congrats to Mr. Beasley on all of his years of yes. service. Your heat low. <laughs> As you rub your cold hands. Yeah, it's cold in here. <laughs> Joelle. Uh, just echoing everyone else, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And if anybody's traveling, safe travels and enjoy family time. And yes, congrats for the anniversary for Roxanne and all the others listed, as well as Chief Isabel's one year as fire chief. Yes. Yay. Thank you. And that's all I have. I've Thank you. Like <laughs> Corey, you have anything? Uh, just a reminder, we don't have our meeting on the 26th. Mm -hmm. our, our next meeting is June, January 9th. June? June. That's that works. That works. June. Wishful thinking. <laughs> I pulled a mat and threw my pen. <laughs> Matt? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll echo the, uh, the happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and uh, everything that was said here. Uh, yeah, it's uh, say this at, in Seneca, and I'll say it here, it's always, it, the year is always interesting. It never quite goes the way you think it does. You can, you can plan it out and mostly plan it out, but something always comes up. I'll tell you right now, we need to talk about buying new rafters in the water tire we just painted. Uh, so we're, we already have the first thing that we didn't budget to buy next year that you're going to have to buy. Uh, the, long story short, the rafters in the new water tower just need to be replaced. We tried to rehab them. It just didn't work. It makes more sense to, re, to uh, replace them. I think it's six. Is it six rafters? I think there's not, eight. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, yeah they, they're not in great shape. We thought it could rehab them. That didn't work out. So We've got uh, some pretty in, pictures of them, though. Yeah. In, in January, it's going to be 100000 to do it. It needs to be done. Again, it's that one of the many things wrong with that water tower. It, this is part that it, that was uh, indoors. We wanted to save as much money as we could, so we uh, talked about rehabbing, was it three of the rafters and, and, and replacing through others. I, I forgot what the, what the specifics were. It just made more sense just to get new ones, so we're going to be back to, to do that. So the first thing that's not in the budget for 23, we already have for you to buy. So that's an example of some things not going as planned, but thankfully the water fund is in good shape, so you have the money to do it. Repainting and then redoing the rafters, what kind of lifespan 
extension does that give a water? Uh, well, the, the rehabbing of the raft roof, we're probably looking at two or three decades, like in 30 oh, some years. Say, the tower was built in 80. I was going to say 80. 80 something. Uh, so, I mean, you can at least hope to get that amount out of the rafters on the inside of it. But so 20 yeah, years. Those, we, we could get by, but. We, we want to do better than that, and they're only going to get worse. They're not going to get better. Uh, and then painting it, I don't want to say every 10, every 5. Basically, painting it, you just look at it and think, that looks terrible, and we need to redo it. Uh, and that, that's how that, the, the tower looked. Um, but again, I want, to, I want to thank you all for another year, uh, and then just be ready for unexpected stuff to happen next year. It always does. Sure. And I also want to thank you for your service. Uh, there's, I, I always thought when meetings go quickly and there aren't a lot of people there that's an indication that we're all doing our job right and if people were angry they'd be here telling us and if no one's here telling us then we must be doing something right and that that starts the elected officials and it goes down to staff so i think it's a good indication that meetings like this i i like these kind of meetings when we have donna here and that's it good and uh do you want to add anything to fulfill in your bucket list and go no, to uh, game? you know i don't <laughs> Yeah, it was. Um, no, that's one more. Maybe a basketball game in Madison Square Garden. Other than that, I don't. I think everything else I've done, I've been every baseball. Oh, you better stadium. have more bucket lists. Yeah. You're still young. <laughs> yeah. So good deal. Well, it sounds like it's yeah, a good no, time it's good to trip. get away. It's a good trip. I had a good time. Yeah. Good. Roxanne, anything? Thank you for all your hard work and and congrats on a, another anniversary. And you said it was a fast 15 years, so we'll see how fast the next 15 go. <laughs> well, uh, Merry Christmas to everyone, and thanks, Council, for uh, your dedication and hard work, and uh, we'll see you all next year. Can we have uh, a motion? Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Yeah, thanks, everyone. Hey, Steve. Hey, Chief, stick back. <laughs>